Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video on our kids' bedrooms. So I have three children, uh, ages nine, five, and almost two. And my boys, who are the nine and five-year-olds, they share a bedroom and then my little girl has her own room. Um, we follow a more essentialist type of lifestyle. It's not so much minimalist, it's very uh, intentional and we have, we have our essentials. We have exactly what we need and no more. Uh, we have things that we really, really love and then we have things that we, le that we uh, need. So that's kind of the rule that I follow as far as how we keep the house and especially for the kids. So as you can see, we have, this is not a big room by any means. I don't even know what the dimensions are, but it's pretty much the beds and the dresser. So um, I got these beds from Pottery Barn. Um, the boys each have a bed, it's twin size. So I'll just start here. I got this from Target. It's just a three tier storage system. Um, nothing really special about it. It just kind of matches. It's not the same tone wood, but kind of matches. So I got that. So they have their little alarm clock. Then this is a little bin where they keep kind of temporary toys that go back somewhere else. Now these are like our more dressier church clothes for my youngest son. I put those here because in the dresser is where I keep their his everyday clothes, both of their everyday clothes because they share the dresser. So, you know, anything special, churchy, or you know, different kind of button up type stuff that they don't they don't wear every day go goes in here for Zach. And then this one is for Brandon. And this those are those same types of things. So in like in my other video about their toys, this is just like the toy area. I wanted to reuse this uh, shoe organizer. We have their blankets on the top and then their little to toy box on the bottom. And I'll link my other video for their toys, how we handle the toy situation um, in, in the description box below. So this is their dresser and I showed what's in those drawers there in a different video, my laundry video, which I will link above as well and below in the description box. Um, these are pictures that I need to hang up, but I haven't done it yet because we're getting our bathroom fixed and the bathroom is on the other side of that wall and we're going to have to make an access panel. So there's going to be a hole somewhere. I don't want to hang anything yet because I don't know where the hole is going to be. So that's that. And then that's just their dresser. And that's the only dresser. We don't have a closet in this room. So um, that's all they need. Everything, all their clothes and pajamas, underwear, all that kind of stuff fits in these drawers. And um, yeah, that's the dresser. I'll show you where we store the extra clothes, the out of season clothes, the clothes that will be like hand me down for Zachary from his brother. I'll show you that right now. So here is how I store my boys extra clothes. Well, they're not even extra clothes. Um, they're, they are the out of season clothes, the clothes that are hand-me-downs for Zachary. I store them in under the bed um, storage containers under their beds. So, and I also store some other stuff too. So this one is Brandon's. Brandon just has, um, you know, seasonal stuff like his shorts and other things that he either can't fit yet or um, just he can't wear because it's cold outside. This is from Target, just a regular old under the bed storage man. So I put, and I only, I limit their things to what can fit in here. If it can't fit in here, then it has to go. So this is just an empty, an empty one. Um, I just figured I'd get an empty one just in case. So that just goes under Brandon's bed. Um, this one is Zachary's. Zachary has more clothes because these are from Brandon when he was, um, you know, smaller. So these are hand-me-downs. So I have, you know, the next size is up basically in here and even some socks and stuff. So yeah, I just put these under each boy's bed and it makes it way easier. I don't have to store them anywhere else. All their clothes are in their room. So, you know, if it's a hot day or a cold day, because it's been really crazy in Michigan, we, can, we don't have to go digging anywhere. We can just go under the bed. So this is where we keep their backpacks 
and these are like um um for sports so there are socks for soccer um soccer clothes we have some um oh look i was looking for this <laughs> we have some um i think yeah that was from the other day we have their baseball pants um because they end up playing baseball in our neighborhood for the team every year pretty much so we just have you know pants for for that and then in here is where I actually store their other set of um, sheets for their beds. So every week when I wash their sheets, I just alternate. Um, so they have their more colorful, fun sheets on right now. And then these are just the extra ones. So that kind of works out. I don't have to. Um, and I keep everybody's sheets in the room. I don't know. I just find this to be easier. I don't have to have it in a separate area. I think that's it for their room. So this is baby girl's room. She also has very minimal things in here, just the things that she actually plays with. So I showed you guys this in the toy video. So those, that's primarily where um, we keep her toys that are not in the um, other storage box that I'll show you in a minute. So she has that, she has a little chair. And this is her bed. And this is a blanket that grandma made for her. Well, she actually made it for me, but I thought it matched her room better. So um, she uses that, you know, when she's cold and such. This is her little princess um, house, I guess we'll call it, that she's starting to warm up to. So that'll be really fun when, it's, when she's a little bit older and she can really play. Um, this is her storage box again. I weeded it out actually since the video, but um, this is it. She has some dolls, a uh, couple stuffed animals, and that bag to the left is of uh, doll clothes. So she's just not old enough to really play, play with that, but she's about to be two and she's just getting to that point where she will start playing. So this is her closet. We put our old um, dresser in here. Well, chest, is this a chest or a dresser? Chest, I don't know. Anyway, the dresser in here. Um, up here are things that I need to hang up. Um, this is a light from Ikea. It's really cute, but I have to find, I don't know. I've just been not wanting to commit to putting things on the wall for whatever reason. So this is a sock I know I have somewhere else. I just have to find it. Um, so those are pictures. This is our bathroom stuff. So just ignore that. That will be gone very soon. Um, again, from our uh, laundry video, you've seen this before. This is just our uh, where I hang up some of her things. And over here, that's daddy stuff. This is a, a nightstand that nothing's in. And this is her brother's um, suitcase that, you know, we only use every once in a while, but it's easier to store it in here. Um, oh, I actually could move it to his bed under the bed. I gotta see. But anyway, it's in here for now. Um, I went through these drawers for the most part um in my laundry video so i actually think i'm gonna do a separate video of all the kids clothes separate from the laundry routine so you can see what we have um for them and how we keep that really really essential as well so that is it that is her room and my boys room very very simple but still personalized they they enjoy it they're not really up here enough to justify hi Justify having much of anything else. Um, you know, we don't do screens as far as TVs. They have their Kindles that they can bring up here. But um, other than that, they they just come up here to sleep. That's kind of what we do. So um, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed where I will be uploading way more videos on how we do things with kids. And have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.